In a world full of crossovers, the Pajaro Sport remains one of the rare genuine off-roaders on the market and despite that sales, numbers aren't as they used to be, the Japanese manufacturer won't give up on this machine. Those are the latest reports we are getting from our reliable insiders, who suggest a full redesign for the next year. We already know that the all-new L200 Triton will arrive soon, so it makes perfect sense to expect to see the 2024 Mitsubishi Pajaro Sport completely redesigned. At this point, we are still waiting for the officials, but we are pretty sure we know what to expect from the new model. The overall design approach would remain the same. We would see a genuine body on frame SUV, with rugged design and excellent off-road capabilities. However, the new model will switch to Nissan's platform, which should be highly beneficial in terms of comfort and ride quality in a generation. Finally, big novelties are expected under the hood as well. In this life, gon' live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna get caught up in this life. I'm crazy, I'm mad. Do it, no cap. Only got one, so you better go live it up. Cash in the bag. Stay young, pack. Baby, I'm bad. Baby, I'm bad. Twenty twenty four Mitsubishi Pajaro Sport Design. The 2024 Mitsubishi Pajaro Sport is expected to receive a complete redesign, as we already mentioned, this will be the fourth generation of the capable off-roader and we expect to see some pretty significant changes. The new model will continue to ride on a classic body on frame platform but the architecture will be completely different. This time, we expect Pajaro Sport to ride on Nissan's F-Alpha platform. The L200 is going to make such a switch, so we expect nothing different from the SUV sibling. The two models will once again share most of the parts, while the SUV iterations should once again come with a more refined suspension setup. On the other hand, things like the drivetrain will be the same. We expect to see a capable 4x4 system, along with other off-road aids, such as locking differential, two-speed transfer case, hill descent control etc. On my shoulder cause they treat me like an outcast I ain't gonna take that, stay back I'll be swinging hard till the hits come in all caps I ain't gonna lay back, pray that Someone's gonna help me, ain't nobody like that I ain't gonna wait, that's all fact Give me one shot and I'll never get the throne back I'm sick of being cautious I'ma go cause some pain Exterior. Of course, the new generation 2024 Mitsubishi Pajaro Sport will come with a completely new design, with more aggressive styling, even though we have to say that the current model still looks pretty modern. Therefore, we expect to see mostly evolutionary changes. The new generation will probably feature slightly bigger dimensions. Still, we don't expect to see a significant increase in terms of wheelbase, as that would certainly be a limiting factor in terms of off-road potential.
Interior. The interior design should bring further improvements regarding style and quality. The current model still looks pretty nice in this aspect, but we expect to see a more modern dashboard design, nicer materials and lots of new tech features, including a new infotainment system, new driver assistance systems etc. As we've just mentioned, the new model might get a little bit bigger, so we may see a little bit more passengers as well. Still, these changes won't be significant, so the seating configuration will certainly remain the same. The 2024 Mitsubishi Pajaro Sport will continue with a couple of spacious and comfortable rows of seats, while the third row will be typically tight for the segment. I'm sick of being cautious, I'ma go cause something, can't stop this I'ma steal everybody's lane, call a shoplift Sick of hearing everyone complain when they thoughtless Taste the pain, it's like candy canes It makes me go change into a better frame, into a better name Society's 2024 Mitsubishi Pajaro Sport Engine When it comes to powertrain, there is a full load of possibilities for the 2024 Mitsubishi Pajaro Sport of course, the first thing that comes to mind is a familiar 2.4-liter turbodiesel, which powers the current model. That engine puts out around 176 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque, and offers a great balance between power and efficiency. However, the fact that the new model will switch to Nissan's platform, so there's a big chance to see Nissan's powertrain as well. That would refer to a 2.3-liter turbodiesel, which puts out around 190 horsepower. Finally, we could easily see a PHEV version in the offer as well. However, details about this powertrain are still unavailable. Although the officials are still quiet, we expect that the 2024 Mitsubishi Pajaro Sport could arrive sometime in the second half of 2023. Of course, the competition will remain pretty much the same, in the form of models like Toyota Fortuner, Ford Everest etc.